Good evening. Welcome back to Me Being Cheap. Tonight's topic is a little bit unusual. Our gym is doing a keto diet challenge, so I am going to show you my meal prep. It is done somewhat on a budget. Um, I didn't spend too much and a lot of this stuff I had on hand, but um, I decided I was going to focus on easy just to try and get through the first week. So let me show you my meal prep. So if you're familiar with the keto diet, um, it focuses on macros and it has a higher emphasis on fat and a lower amount of carbs. And for the purpose of this diet, we're talking net carbs. So that's the total amount of carbs minus the fiber. So my calorie allotment is 1,616 calories. Um, my fat intake should be 125 grams, which is um, quite higher than most people are used to. My protein intake should be 94 grams, and my net carbs should be 30. Um, now, what I'm going to show you, what I have planned out for my meals, um, has 1,242 calories, 95 grams of fat, 64 grams of protein, and 21 net carbs. So that does leave me with a, a few extra calories um, that I can play around with as far as snacks if I get hungry during particular parts of the day. Um, I will have some flexibility here in which um, you know I could pick you know whatever I'm craving and, and you know as long as I stay within uh, the allotment. So that is what this diet is based on. So many people that are doing a ketogenic diet, um, they test when their body's making ketones and that's either by um, a urine test, a blood test, or a breathalyzer. Um, I did or order the urine test strips, however, um, the wrong ones, I got the wrong ones. These are just for urinary tract infection. This does not uh, measure ketones, so I had to get something else there. Um, other thing you'll need, measuring devices. I've got my measuring cup, my measuring spoons. I have my digital scale. So I already had this stuff, so this isn't costing me anything. So let's go ahead and go into uh, what exactly it is I'm going to be eating. So I am a coffee drinker. I love my coffee. Um, I typically do not put any sugar in my coffee, but I do like uh, my coffee whitened, whether that's with cream, or milk or what have you. So what we're going to do is we're going to make what's called bulletproof coffee. Um, it's also called keto coffee. So you make your uh, standard cup of coffee and you add to it one tablespoon of butter, one tablespoon of coconut oil. Now I add all this on hand. Um, so I mean it's just stuff I use so I can't really tell you how much it costs. It's not special ingredients. Um, and I'm going to add fiber powder, and this is the sugar-free, um, this is not the Metamucil, this is more like the Benefiber. Um, I will add some of this to the coffee as well. This is not typically included in the keto coffee. So with these four ingredients, the coffee, the fiber powder, the butter, and the coconut oil, it's 235 calories, 25 calories from or excuse me, 25 grams of fat, no protein, and one net carb. Okay, so let's talk about breakfast. You're gonna see a lot of eggs on this video. I have chickens and I have constant source of eggs. So we have eggs from my chickens and for this diet, we're going to do two eggs. Um, we're going to scramble those and stir into it and fry. Um, I have this pepper and onion blend. It's three types of bell peppers with onions. We're gonna use a cup of this. And um, that's 25 calories. Uh, 25 calories, no fat, one protein, and four net carbs uh, for the vegetables. Now, I have a choice of bacon. And I had this on hand because I buy like a whole hog or half hog. So I did meal prep this morning and I fried the bacon. So I've got bacon and I have sausage so I can mix it up a little bit. I have the sausage already cooked. All I have to do is measure it out. 
And um, so for the sausage, that is going to, and that's one ounce of sausage, by the way, uh, that's 94, almost 95 calories, um, almost eight grams of fat, uh, five and a half grams of protein and no net carbs. And I'm going to add on top of it some salsa. I already have this on hand, stuff's good. Um, and the salsa, two tablespoons is the serving size. That's 15 calories, no fat, one protein and three net carbs. So that takes care of breakfast. So breakfast is a total of about 280 calories. And that's for the two eggs, the meat, the veggies and the salsa. Um, about 17 and a half grams of fat, 19 and a half uh, grams of protein and about 7.8 net carbs. Okay, so that is breakfast. Uh, for lunch, um, oh, and as far as cost, um, the mixed vegetables are usually around a dollar a bag on the frozen vegetables for the store brand. Okay, so for lunch, we're going to do a salad. And I typically buy the bagged salad. I'm gonna have to get some more of this because this stuff doesn't last very long once you open it, so I didn't wanna like buy like a whole week's worth. So anyway, so we have the salad and that's one and a half cups. And we are going to do boiled eggs, one of them, and ranch dressing. Now I had ranch dressing on hand, but I figured since I'm going to use a lot of this, I wanted to upgrade to one that's a little bit better. And this one only has just a little bit it actually says zero trans fat. Now the other prepared salad dressings tend to have a lot of the trans fat, but this has none. So um, I did upgrade on this. I could have used what I had on hand, but um, I figured why not? We'll just get something that's a little bit better. So two tablespoons of this and a quarter cup of shredded cheese. So again, I had the cheese on hand. So um, the salad is 20 calories, no fat, one gram of protein and three net carbs. The boiled egg is 72 calories, 4.8 grams of fat, six grams of protein, and 0 0.4 net carbs. The ranch dressing, and that's for two tablespoons, is 146 calories, 16 grams of fat, uh, 0 0.4 grams of protein, and two net carbs. The quarter cup of cheese is 100 calories, eight grams of fat, seven grams of protein and no net carbs. Okay, so that is lunch. Set this to the side. Now for snacks, um, peanuts, I have one quarter cup and that's 170 calories, 15 grams of fat, eight grams of protein and one net carb. Now for dinner, I have a different flavor of frozen mixed vegetables. Uh, this is the stir fry starters from Kroger. It has uh, broccoli, bell pepper, mushrooms, peas, celery, um, looks like a little bit of carrot, and a couple type of beans in it. It's pretty good. This is something I buy anyway. Again, about a dollar a piece for the frozen vegetables. Use a cup of this, and we're going to do tuna fish. Um, I did have to go out and buy this. I think this was $1.19 a can. This is the tuna in water. This is the uh, five ounce can. When it's drained, it's four ounces. Anyhow, uh, so one can of tuna fish. And then one of these individual guacamoles. This is probably the most expensive thing that I bought. I think this was $5.99. A lot of times I pick these up when they're on clearance at Kroger and I pop them in the freezer because they freeze well. But I'm out of them, so I had to buy some at full price. Um, there's six servings in here. This package, I think, was $5.99. So this was about a dollar a piece on these, so that's a little pricey. However, I find that when I get a big thing of guacamole, it turns brown. So I suppose I could make my own, but then you would have to have the avocados on hand. And it's just easier to do it this way, and this stuff tastes pretty good. So. Um, again, $5.99 or about a buck a piece on these minis. So, dinner is tuna, mixed veggies, mixed veggies, and guacamole. So, the veggies for one cup is 30 calories, no fat, one gram of protein, and three net carbs. The guacamole is 100 calories, 
eight grams of fat, one gram of protein, and three net carbs. And then the tuna is, and that's for one whole can, 90 calories, one gram of fat, 20 grams of protein, and zero net carbs. So that is dinner. So all together, that's about 1,242 calories, um, 95 grams of fat, about 64 grams of protein, and about 21 net carbs. So that does leave a little bit, bit of wiggle room. So I did get some pickles. Um, I hear that when you go on the keto diet, sometimes if you have some salt, it might make you feel a little better, and I tend to crave salt anyway. So I did get some dill pickles, and these have no fat, uh, these have one carb and no protein. So, um, you know, I'm a little bit shy here on the carbs. I've got room for about nine more. So I do have a little wiggle room. I could have one or two pickles. That could help. Um, cream cheese, uh, for one serving is about one eighth of this package and it's uh, 100 calories, and from fat is 10 grams, and uh, no carbohydrates, and two grams of protein. So this would take care of some of the protein and probably a lot of the fat for one eighth of this package. Soy sauce goes good on everything. Again, if you're craving salt, this will do it for you. I need to refill my bottle. But according to the nutrition facts on soy sauce, um, serving size is one tablespoon. There's 10 calories in that tablespoon. No fat, no carbs, but two grams of protein. Who would have thought that soy sauce has protein in it? So I will definitely keep this in mind. I know soy, soy sauce goes good on the vegetables. It also goes good on the tuna. I don't know about putting it on a salad, but Anyway, there you have it, uh, my meals for week one. I know some people don't like to eat the same old thing over and over again, but again, with the breakfast, um, you can mix it up. You can have your choice of bacon or sausage. I usually eat a salad every day, so that's nothing new for me. Um, and then dinner, um, the mixed veggies, the tuna and the guacamole. The tuna might get old. I do, if I get sick of tuna, I do have some chicken in the freezer and I also have some pork in the freezer. And so I could, um, you know, put in an equivalent amount, calorie, fat, and protein wise of the pork or the chicken and kind of rotate that out, get a little bit of variety. I know, um, you know, they, they say you're not supposed to eat the same thing over and over again, but this is just for a limited time. And they say, you know, sometimes there's concern about, you know, whatever with the tuna. Like I said, it would be heavy metal, but I'm not too worried about it. So anyway, this is what I'm eating for the first week. And I will have to go get more salad because that does not stay fresh. And um, of course I do have more of the mixed veggies in the freezer. I bought enough to last the first week. All right, thanks for watching. I would love to hear your feedback. If you've ever uh, done the keto challenge or a ketogenic diet, did you have luck? Did you enjoy it? Um, I might get into some recipes later, but for now I'm just going to keep it very, very simple. All right, thanks for watching.